We're back. I think we're back. Hmm. Let's just be the finished. Okay. Get a moment. We should head out to the Citadel for a snack. I know a place that uh, still has steak. Well, we still have stuff to do in the Citadel anyway. in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space-faring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind in the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? I he mean, agrees with me. He's got a point. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she is piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this, and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> All right. Good talking. That is just a big loop to loop. Okay. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. Okay, good chatting with you. down 
more tired. I need a folding chair or something. Has Elenko had media training? He just gave me the steady stare during our interview. Do we need to talk, Commander? No. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. I feel like they'd be very rude to kick her off the ship. Bit of muzzle wear on this one. Ma'am. Probably not much to do down here. Wait, wait, Can't forget to feed the fish. Alright, let's go back to the citadel, maybe? You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. I thought there was something I had to do here. I don't really remember what it was. Wow, this is looking bad. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure. I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. What? Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... Get it. <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> Shepard. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. All right, all right. Good talk. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. What? Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? 
Okay, rough. I don't know. Let me look. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck. And I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? Okay, we gotta do something with that now, too. Okay. Hmm. JJ with the hundred bits. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Very, very, very much appreciated. Hmm. Doctor's looking for a way to treat a patient with chemical burns. Find a treatment plan and deliver it to the hospital. All right. Well, what else we gotta do? Why is it telling me to go to the council? There's there's nothing here. I can't do anything with the council. Huh. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for shopping. Yeah, sure, sure. Inspector status recognized. One moment, please. Now Purgatory bar. Anything new here? Will your new heavy armor keep you safe? I've watched reports on some of the things you're fighting. Well, won't we'll stop a reaper, but an extra second of shielding can be life or death. So Vortex makes good shield capacitors? The best. They don't skip on plating either. I love it. Sounds like you want to get back out there to try it out. You know, a little. Can't wait to show it off to the team. Maybe I can take point more often now. It is. This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across alliance units, reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah, maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. <laughs> Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. You're welcome. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now you're on shore leave. Partying it up yet again. <laughs> Shepard! Everybody knows you can't dance. Oh, gee, thanks. Come on now. She's wild. It's like shady business. What? 
What? Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate hmm. since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, wow. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed a real. Oh, really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk <laughs> normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. Interesting. I thought this place would be cool if it didn't involve so much walking. If you're in pain, I could carry you. Pass. Pass. You just introduced me as your personal assistance man. Yeah, well, it's the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. Why deceive others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI with uber based code. They would. Um, excuse me, lady. That would be an inefficient way to render me non functional. Your turn. Counselor Irissa. Not hot. Too much makeup. Not really my thing. Shaira the consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Dalatras Linron. Ew. What in the world? Your turn. Counselor Irissa. <laughs> the banner of the first regiment. That should put some steel in their spine. Who else do we have to find on shore leave yet? Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. It's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories. Imagining the wonders of this place, the seat of our empire, the power to sway worlds, the galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Uh-oh. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Yeah? Ehana, I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're really a Prothean? I am. But if you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. 
The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. It probably better do. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. Much we better. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. <laughs> He's kind of scary. No. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The commander is a capable warrior as well, for a human who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Cool. Processed. Finally. You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm fine. You go spend the time you have left with her. Wow. I'll take care of the rest. Well, that was nice of her. Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. Or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. Great. Should buy probably, but I don't know. Terrain generals injured while defending civilians during the Cerberus attack on the Citadel. He's now at the hospital. His injury has been complicated by the use of toxin developed specifically for Terrain physiology. A former Alliance researcher is willing to sell data on a similar toxin, which was developed in case of a war with Palvin. To avoid diplomatic embarrassment, any information obtained in this manner should be treated as if discovered at a server's facility. Okay. So now we should go to the hospital, I think. One 
No, 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 no. To where's the Memorial Hospital plan? Thank you. Please speak with me again if you recall. Who do I give this stuff to? Do I not give it to anybody? Here we go. I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. The general might pull through because of this. Cool. Yes, General Corellius should make a full recovery. He's already awakened this part. Alright, glad we could help. Um, let's see. Areas tagged of interest Holding are in. highlighted on the elevator menu. One moment, please. Let's go to the commons. See what's happening at the commons. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. This is looking rough. Nobody? Nobody to talk to? Okay. I don't think <laughs> there's much here for us to do at the moment. Suddenly so conflicted. Look, the oh. asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife, to my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil, there's no doubt. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't what? answer that. Uh, what? I, okay, yep. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Oh, there we go. Helping another person. I'll have crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little presents Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is gonna save lives. Sure. Found another one. Yeah, the guys in Zakara did too. Disarm their safe losses. Yeah. Okay, now we gotta go back to the ship. Docking Bay D24. 
Have you discovered a way to run STL spaceships without an Eagle Four, Private Shalavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Cerberus? Nulls, I found another spot. Oh, here where we go. Codes were used. Holy crap! These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship, all human, just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes. Someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Yeah, where? I was supposed to find another council somewhere, but who knows where. Let's go to the Normandy for now. Yeah, I'm gonna pause real quick, run to the bathroom, and I will be back in just a couple minutes. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> nice burp. Alright. Nice one, Gumball. Oh, what do we have to do here? <clears throat> Let's 
go back. Actually, I go exit out. Um, citizens on the Citadel are preparing to carry out some sort of assassination at the CSEC office in the Presidium Commons. Go there and look for suspicious activity. Okay, never mind. We're going back to the Citadel. Bust some naughty people. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Yeah, we want to go to. Where did it say? Presidium Commons. I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Um, CSEC. Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Mm hmm. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in CSEC in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC <laughs> caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust, Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Okay. Sorry, Commander. Uh -huh. I'll shut it down. Thanks. Done and done. Where is that telling me to go? This guy? I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help. This is amazing. The colonists, my sister, will be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your debt. The clutch is stabilized? Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. You wish to name the first hatched after the one who helped us? I think that's a wonderful idea. Great. Everybody wants to name their kid after us. Alright. Some technology, bring it to him in the Presidium Commons. Presidium Embassies. Hmm. Chief Engineer Adams has requested GX-12 thermal pipe to make the Normandy's engines safer. GX-12. Where the heck do we find that? Welcome to Agor Munitions. Right, I'm just gonna start looking at every store and look for GX-12. Here, Ooh, is this? Nope, never mind. Just kidding.
Welcome to Kanala Exports. Where is this GX-12 thing I need? Unless I don't have to buy it, I have to just find it somewhere? Right, right. Okay, now who do I have to find here? Message from Primark Victus implicates Volus Ambassador Din Korlak as a possible Cerberus informant. Investigate the ambassador at the Presidium Embassies. Where is he? That's the dude we helped. on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with the Sari. That way, should anyone require diplomatic aid, we can ensure prompt assistance. Wonderful. Well, where is this day that I'm supposed to talk to? I don't know. In Corlock. Is there something in here I can look him up with? I don't think so. Hey, Shepard. Uh, Everyone's walking. These blah, are dark blah, days blah. for all of us. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, he can't help us. Not sure where we find this guy. Embassy offices. Am I like missing a whole area? To get up there? I am so lost. Hello, 
Commander Shepard. Welcome to Citadel Embassies. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osova. Great. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. The human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24. I know that. Docking in E24 <clears throat> has been repurposed. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading edge care. I know that. The Presidium? That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again. Hmm. I don't know. I don't see dude here. Sector status recognized. Please select a destination. Should look that up. That's gonna drive me nuts. Let's see where to go. Then Corlock. Use a Spectre terminal to receive location. Look under the desk. Talk to the train guard who is at the office suite in the Citadel Embassies. Okay. Anything about receiving his location. Unless I already did that. Location for Dan Carlack, I must have. <clears throat> Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position was an office suite near the human embassy. Okay. Who do I talk to then? That did not help. A joint Turian Krogan force has landed on a ruin in an attempt to retake the Volus homeworld from Reaper forces. Wait, is this the thing I already did? I think I already did this. Why is it still showing up? Like, pretty sure. Could be wrong, but. I feel like we did this last time I played. I think this thing's lying to me. I don't think I have to do this mission. Alright. 
I'm bailing. Going back to the Normandy. Now arriving at docking bay D twenty four. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper Stars in. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. Whoa. What combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. Okay. Phyllis on the Citadel needs the book. Um, whatever, recover it from my rune. And return it. Until. So many little things to do. Investigate a sorry colony. Let's do it. Yara and Javik. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. What were the commandos' orders? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Find Asari commandos. Elevator disabled. <clears throat> to Whoa, okay. Or escape, I wonder. Oh, 
little dark and spooky, alright. That sound. Don't know. There's more Don't like it. There. Dude freaked me out. Students are not allowed to visit each other's quarters or meet in the rooms unsupervised by staff. Students are also forbidden from extranet communication without approval by senior staff members. There are no ex exceptions to these rules. First offenders will have their free time revoked for a month. Further violations will be met with confinement. Our monastery is our shelter for it is to remain that way. We must make sacrifices if we do this. I have faith we can continue to enjoy the order and peace this place has given us. I hear something. Yeah, I, I heard something. That was my fault, sorry. Electronic signature? What's a signature for? Her? Don't know. Don't know. Right. Oh no. It would seem the Asari commandos fell silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardad Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. The commandos decided to purge this place. Ardad Yakshi are not. Evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. In here, very good. I almost didn't hear you. Look who it is. Samara? It has I haven't been seen her in a while. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here. And I have come for them. Hmm. Okay. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers sent this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. Doesn't sound good. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait. Nah, I don't think she's Let's waiting. <laughs> Missing some over here. I knew it.
Yikes. Alright. Now we gotta find her, tell her the bad news. An isolated fortress. The other Yokshi must have believed they were safe from the war. If they knew about it at all. They learned. They sure did. Yep, I knew it. What is that? Ew, I hate it so much. Oh my gosh. Ew, ew, ew. Get out of here. That is creepy. Oh my god, die. Die. Or just freeze. Oh, this is lovely. Done. What? So there gonna be a bunch of those now? Oh my. Help her. I'm just gonna turn into oh no, nope, no, nope, we're good. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Falaire, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. Well, let's go. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Yeah, it's creepy. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Falaire speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Okay. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? I'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? Yes, yeah, Falaire. Falaire! Okay, what is she doing? The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. Will do. Need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. Yeah, these things are crazy. Okay, gotta look all over the place for stuff before we go. Uh huh. Hmm. 
What is that? Hello? I don't even know. The new episode needs to come quick. I've rewatched this episode six times. Oh boy. You're gonna go nuts if you don't get a new episode. Season six, episode one. Oops. What the f Dad? Why would you bring that thing into our house? It was cute. F we gotta find a new timeline now. You know how hard that shit is without portals? We gotta do the thing with the rift and the beacon again. The whole fing episode all over again. Car, fabricate some vomit bags. Can't we just go back and fix it? Uh, oh my gosh. I can't believe portal travel's broken. I'll get to it when I get to it. Lift with your knees, Mom! How many times have you done this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, yikes. <laughs> Good lord. That show is something else. Very much something else. <laughs> Lift today's mom. Like, that's just a normal day for them. <laughs> just a normal day. Carrying themselves. Get caught up. <laughs> uh, episode's actually very emotional. Rick and Morty gets emotional? Wow. Okay, alright. It's very emotional. Wow. Like, I knew it was a wacky show, but I didn't think it got so intense. Another dead commando. Oh, no. The Asari should have rid themselves of the other Yokshi. By rid themselves, you mean kill. My people would never let such monsters walk among them. They didn't care for the competition? <laughs> Rick's motives are explained little by little. Start to like piece everything together. Oh my. She is. I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? Can I protect his family? Actually, the, so the whole season was emotional. 
Painrick experience with the rift and his family. Wow. I had no idea there was such a like deep storyline. Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Oh, great, here we go. Later. Tried to rescue his best friend. Tried. was actually very plot heavy huh yeah like that's just I had no idea from the bit I've watched probably makes it even better though hey there we go we're clear for now let's get back to that bomb Everything season two up, so season one did not have a plot. Flair, go. Take the elevator. Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. Oh my. Rila. Come on, come on. I love you. Rila. Has very little to do with the plot. Maybe they didn't decide right away that they're going to do such a heavy plot. Oh gosh. Oh, <laughs> heavy hmm Rila, it wasn't even time to say goodbye few can break the reaper's hold Rila's will was extraordinary as was her love for you we left her to die. Rila made her choice. And it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Falea. The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. 
are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Hold on. Claire. What are you doing? What? Mother, no! My what? daughters, you were all so much stronger than I believed. No, 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 no. Let go. No! What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? Uh-oh. What's going on? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of him. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Dang. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. <laughs> soft reboot that I didn't realize was a soft reboot until now? Really? Rick and Morty moved to a different universe? What? So season one is just filler, then season two was when the story kicks in. So they did like a subtle little reboot to give it more story. That's clever. It's a good way to do it. I'm able I will visit as a just a car could. You could stay. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. To actually messed up the world. Had to move to a different universe. <laughs> oh, that's one way to restart everything. Commander. I'm pleased to hear the Ordot Yakshi situation has been put to I rest. I kind of like that, though. I don't know. Should I guess you're our contact inside Asari High Command? It's a good way to start fresh. I'm merely here to convey the gratitude of the Asari people for concluding a difficult, sensitive mission. The next team of commandos we were sending to the monastery are now en route to Admiral Hackett instead. Farewell, Commander. War terminal. Don't need to do anything with that. Lift with your knees, Mom. That's because he already had experience moving his own dead body. That's so messed up. <laughs> That's so twisted. Started out as an alliance black ops. Black ops always go bad. If you have to deny Commander, Dr. Chapman sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Again? All right. Potato. My goodness. Annie. She's just gonna keep on snoring, all right? What do you need, lady? Shepard. Remember our agreement? Uh-huh. We'd open a bottle of cerise ice brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so indulge hmm. my impatience. You grab the glasses, I'll open the bottle. Might as well. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline, something zero. Sorry, but it's ma'am to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Ooh, what? <laughs> you know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. 
Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel, conqueror of the Collectors, savior of the galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, alive or gone. Okay. <laughs> that makes no sense. Consider I agree. it a lady's prerogative then. Come, let's have a toast. To a woman I respect and admire, I'm lucky to have you with me, Doctor. And to you. It's my great honor to share this journey with you, Commander. And good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Kay. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. It's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure we're well stocked with dextro-based antibiotics and antihistamines. Just cut ah, out. Oh my god, the kill. <laughs> Uh, of course you'd say that. She was stationed on Valchir when the poor Rila. <laughs> I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. Not surprised, Skinny. I'm not surprised. Nothing going on back here. Like they make game characters out for no reason. <laughs> they do. They like go out of their way to make video game characters like perfect Ready human beings. For no reason. <laughs> like for what? Should throw a couple of ugly nonviolent NPCs every once in a while. <laughs> Change it up. I agree. I agree. Oh, nobody's in here. Too many attractive. Too many attractive uh, video game characters. Wouldn't mind to see Jabba the Hutt as my weapons dealer. I mean, I'd be down to see that. They they need to do something like that. <laughs> Make some ridiculous looking characters, cause why not? Kelly Gunfrey did da da da. Cool for Jacob. Crucible project is intense. Bryn and the others are on the clock. If you got time, wanna meet me there? Meet you where? At the Citadel. Things are so crazy. It'd be good to see you in a quieter place. Hope to see you around. I did see him there. <laughs> uh. I'll return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. If it does not interfere with your duties, come and find me. I don't know where everybody is. Hey, next time you're in that sweet new apartment with the no time to kill, give me a call. I've got someone I'd like to show you. Okay. You have a free moment? I thought we'd get together. Um, meet you at the Silver Coast Casino upper floor. Hopefully no dead arms dealers this time. Great. Okay. Going back to the Citadel. Why does this say only 25%? Oh, I know why. I think? Maybe not? Okay. Oh boy. Got some scanning to do yet, alright? Intact Reaper weapon? 
Got something I'd like to show you. What do you want to show? Bam, dick pic? <laughs> That'd be awkward. Man, that would be very strange to have to meet up in person for that. Mm. Be like, James, calm down, buddy. Evasion successful. My goodness. We're gonna go find out. Realistically, that's what would happen. <laughs> Facts. It's the only thing that would realistically happen. It's about to go down. See what he needs to urgently meet at our apartment for. Suspicious. Garrus would not be pleased. Okay. He would not be a fan. It's a bag. Nah, that's that's bad. Is he just gonna be in here too? Maybe we have to do we have to call him. I'm not sure how we're supposed to meet him. Get some tunes going. I don't think this is where I'm meant to go. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? Notes. The fireplace is lit and everything. The mood is set. <laughs> um, invite up. Oh, I can invite up all these people? What? Why can I invite Coliad over? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's going on. I'm just gonna invite up all these people one at a time, because, like, for what? Why? Suspicious. Alright, James, what did you have to tell us? Show us. Hey, Lola. I see you got things cleaned up. Ew, Coliad. Eventually. He's a yeah, good kid, right? He's fine. That. Nice view, but this place, it's just so not what I'm used to. Which Where is? are you here, James? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, mm. you know. Fight them all at sand, once. <laughs> all right, what did you all want? Just, just get it over it. with. Yeah, and the people. So what's her name? Ah. <laughs> no, no. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. Hasn't stopped him from being <laughs> that a That would be kind of funny if we were able to do that, though. <laughs> yeah, well, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. Why? Am I making this hard for you and Garrus? Ooh. <laughs> Not even remotely. Ooh. Hey, honey, you two... I mean, is he... You know... Do Turians have all the same... Same... Hmm... Never mind. I don't really want to know. Yeah, he does. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. Things are very awkward between her and James all the time. Oh, his tattoo. I was like, what is going on? What do you think? Suits you. Looks good. And you've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Sure. Exactly. And I heard what you said before, oh, and I'm in. Oh, oh God. Glad to hear it. Yeah, see, I don't know. This is anyway, suspicious. This is very I suspicious. Did. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I got to get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. He came to the apartment. Hasta la vista, Shepard. To show us his tattoo. Uh huh. Later, I don't know. He's so too and then he just stands there. I don't know about those two. What the hell? No way. What is he doing? What is he okay, what is happening? What is he doing? 
for the tease. I was ready for action. I don't know what is going on there. Why is he hey, not? He's not I leaving. Seeing this when I was here for the party. He's bullet bar. Hey Shepard, you know my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Hmm. Oh, this should be good. I don't know. <clears throat> What a beast, Shepard. What a beast. <clears throat> We're just gonna keep working out. Not bad. <clears throat> this is so weird. <clears throat> a variation of pulps looks like it's bad for your shoulders. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like that would be not great. <clears throat> How, like, how many times am I going to do this? <laughs> what is the deal? Am I literally 182? Am I supposed to do this 180 million times? Like, I, don't, I don't know about all this. You look like a pro. <laughs> Shut up, Vega. Touchy, touchy. Just training together alone in the apartment. <clears throat> Karis is gonna walk in and get ticked. It's gotta be more commentary eventually. It's a military press and it's awful for your shoulders. It looks terrible. Oh my god, can you actually get beat his thing. We're gonna be here forever. Try three. Oh my gosh. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep doing it. Even if this takes us all night, we're gonna beat his record. That's it. Come on. This is so weird. Why does it have to have such a weird angle, like, every time? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> I just want to know what happens. Nice. Doing that same movement with a barbell. Get his rotator cuff torn. Ow, ow, screw that. I feel like she'd be like dying right now. Forty, nice. Oh, we get a different angle now. What is? My stands in front of me at the gym. Sounds like he should no longer do these. I don't think I could do one of these. <laughs> Even after I moved to Texas. Oh my god, skinny. Sweet Jesus. It's a mirror. Got that. Got a front row seat it's to the a gun mirror. <laughs> I like how she says nothing to his commentary the whole time. Why'd they have to make his, like, record so high? We're gonna be doing this forever. See how dedicated the player is? Keep it up, amigo. She's gonna be so weak after this. She can have jello arms. That's 60. High five. Funny. <clears throat> Done this 60 times. Keep going, kid. 
Although I wish we could speed it up, but we can't. Which I haven't tried doing this movement pull up. No more of those. <laughs> Sounds like that dang bar is gonna fall off. I can't do any pull-ups though, I don't think. I don't know, I can't I can't even tell you the last time I tried to do a regular one. I probably can't even do a normal one. Can you even tell us our number? I don't even know what we're at. Probably got like a hundred more of these to go. But we're doing it. I'm dedicated at this point. The intense music, like, every time. <clears throat> Come on, Shepard, you got it. <clears throat> How's she not dying? Don't lose your focus. Not gonna. Gonna beat your record. I really would laugh if that bar fell down. That's halfway to my record. Halfway? Great. <laughs> Halfway. <clears throat> Keep going. <clears throat> Halfway there. <clears throat> Doing it. We ain't stopping now. <clears throat> Come on, Shep. One hundred. That's impressive. Thanks. She's like, Just shut up. eighty-two to go. Only eighty-two to go. <gasps> no big deal. <laughs> <clears throat> this is a very personal workout with Shepard here. <clears throat> Better get like an achievement or something for this. Something. You go, Commander. Oh, we're going. We're freaking going, James. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> Superwoman. <clears throat> Are we there yet? <clears throat> It's the most ridiculous thing I think I've done in a game. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. I'm not counting, but we're getting there. Hang in there. God. <laughs> She's sick of it. You've done worse? Wow. I guess I could believe that. I could believe that. I, I'm probably with your mods. If you count mods, I've done. Exactly. Exactly. I count mods. 
I feel like you've done some Got a ways to go, my friend. Interesting things with mods. <laughs> interesting things. <gasps> if I get nothing for this, I swear. <clears throat> Keep it moving, Shepard. Uh. Have some fart shouts in Skyrim. Fart shouts. What? Uh. <laughs> what? Uh. Oh god, that would be hilarious. <clears throat> I have not even heard of that. <laughs> uh. Oh man. You can only imagine. Do we really have to get right up in her face? Go, Shepard. Come on. This is such an awkward angle. Also, I have guards that are chickens. <laughs> I've seen mods with chickens that, like, can wear, um certain gear and stuff, but guards, that's awesome. <laughs> Mods are pretty great. They're goofy. You can do anything. Pretty much anything. Don't lose it now. I'm not gonna lose it now. We just gotta keep staring at Shepard's awkward face every time she does a pull-up. No big deal. <laughs> this is such an awkward angle. Do they have to do this? Change it up. Come on, James, give us our count here. What do we have? We gotta be getting close ish. Close ish. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my. Right. Holy hell we did it. You did it. Dang right we I, did. I don't know what to say. How you feeling? Like I could do another 183. <laughs> if you say so, Lola. Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry, I won't. What is going on? Oh, I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> okay, it was just a weird view. Oh, man. I didn't even get an achievement for that. They should have done an achievement for that. Uh, Skyrim Crimes Against Nature. Wait. All right, intermission with the Skyrim mod. Let's see. You there. Step forward. Yo, Sticky Rick, and welcome to the hey. stream, my dude. Let's vibe. Can't guess. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Order. Order. No. Oh, God. What is this in the back? Oh, what is, wait, what? What is, is that a kitten? What is this? This is amazing. Also, no, it was good timing. It was perfect timing. It was right at the beginning. 
What is going on? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Or me? Forget the list. He goes yes. to the block. Aha, pony. Pony. <laughs> oh no. Pony. <laughs> pony, pony, pony. Oh, that's so brutal. Oh no. How dare you talk to me like that? Help me! Help me! What is this? Please talk to me! Damn it. Stay, stay, stay. Oh no. Oh no, yeah! Oh no. I got him horrified. Typical <laughs> Genghis. Happy birthday, Genghis. Genghis, is it your birthday today? Happy birthday, Genghis. That's mod, right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> uh, can I have a link to that mod, please? Skinny, send it his way. Oh my god. <laughs> this is chaos. That run. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down. Should you play my number? Oh. I fed up with oh. this world. Sorry, my butt got nothing on me. Your mother was. Man, I'm not lying. Don't touch me, motherfucker. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. More than bullshit. I own damn fat. It's not over. Everybody betrayed me. You know Barack, don't you? Man, I'm not going to any more of these bullshit plural parties. Oh, this is ridiculous. Casually rides off. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Shut up, Atomic. Gang is his birthday. Let's go. It is your birthday. Oh. Happy birthday to Genghis. Not wrong with having your birthday. Everybody always wants to hide their birthday. But I think it's a good thing. Yeah, it's my a-hole B-Day, he says. <laughs> Let him peer stream as soon as badass and is clocked out. Just got my to my crib from work grind. Heck yes! Heck yes! Happy birthday to you. You belong to the suit. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Hey. 10 million years old. Same. <laughs> Genghis, you're, you're youthful. You're young. You're a spring chicken. And uh, I hope you have a good beer stream. That sounds like it'll be... That'll be interesting. You deserve the best birthday, man. The best one. Hey, we love you too, Genghis. We love you too. <laughs> we we want you to have a good birthday, man. You deserve it. Right? Genghis deserves nothing but the best. Oh man. <clears throat> this is sweet. It's like hiding the day you found a precious diamond. <laughs> Two different types of people here. <laughs> uh, I can almost remember that rhyme. What, the birthday song rhyme? I'm gonna call these other fools to my apartment here and see what they have to say. Probably end up passing out on my stream. I think that would be kind of funny. <laughs> Oh man, that would be intense. You just hear Genghis snoring on his stream. <laughs> Had a few too many beers.
Don't throw up on your client's car and you're okay. Yeah, take notes from Skinny. Shepard. Oh, man. I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping. Okay. I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Live it up huh. like a girly girl. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal Hook him up with the link. Space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad. It's like his birthday it? present. We'll get you your own fun sometime. <laughs> but today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. Ooh. What would you recommend? Something you both like. Uh, start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. There you go. The 2187 blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. It's like a lot of money. Five year warranty, replacement parts. No, wait. I fail to see what is wrong. I do too. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want a rental. Yeah, yeah, I you see. want a rental. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Pause. Oh, never mind. I just see Skinny put a, a link and I'm like ready to click click it and I realize it was just the mod. <laughs> Not drinking liquor or wine, just PBR. Ooh, good old classic PBR. Nice. Nice. That'll take you a ways. You can make that last throughout uh, the are evening. Are we getting married? No. Are we getting there married? There is a on the Citadel <laughs> who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the ring stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Almost as rare as you. Hmm. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. <laughs> Did I have you for a few seconds there? <sighs> Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. The entire Skyrim and Fallout 4. Clean slate. New mods. Freshen it up a bit. Okay, apparently Edie left. Who are we inviting in next? Doing the fan service DLC. I don't even I don't even know what on here that I've done is DLC and what isn't. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. I'm so tired of Apollos. I'm gonna cook. Oh no, really? Really? Come on. You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. What are we having? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Crash, because I think certain conflicts with mods. Because I'm addicted uh, to sure. weird mods. Oh, definitely. Yeah. We have, uh, I know you got to be uh, careful with we that kind of thing. Beer. The foods of my people. Wish me luck. But I am, he, he's kind of our ex in the game, so that would be a terrible choice. <laughs> he cooks for you while you drink. Bang him. Oh my god, skinny. 
It's all skinny needs. <clears throat> this better not suck. We'll say good luck. If you need luck to cook us dinner, we're screwed. Screwed? Oh, you heard Mr. Shao Gorath mod. The best. Relax. It's gonna be great. I think, I'm assuming you're out. talking about the one that you showed me. Gonna get some pie for dessert, so, day. Remember how I saved the Citadel, and then you weren't uh, there. I survived a suicide mission. All these close calls I've had. We're Only past Caden. Okay, we're dinner. past Caden. Can it at least be quick and painless? Funny. And you think I hauled your butt out of the fire all those times just to poison you here now? I just took down my clone. I gotta figure anything's possible. Huh. Do we have hot sauce? <laughs> looks like a I knew I knew you were gonna say that. that I knew it. I knew I wasn't the only one thinking I'm like Skinny's gonna say something. I, I thought I was pretty good. I missed that saucy Nord female. Who? Kidding. Actually it was pretty good. I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm an enigma. I've got skills. I mean, for example, fist fight, me and James. And I'd win. Right? Yeah. What if I fought dirty? She just said she wants hot sauce on steak. What is wrong with her? I don't think I've ever had hot sauce on steak before. Found her in a haystack. Oh, I know who you're talking about, Sophia. Right, Sophia? Why did that sound? That didn't sound right after I said it, Sophia. We we're in a five hundred dollar steak with one dollar sauce. I don't think I've ever had hot sauce on steak. I'm not much of a hot sauce person though. Man, now steak sounds amazing. It is Sophia. Okay. I don't know why that sounded wrong after I said it, but yeah, she is definitely um, a, a saucy Nord female. Very saucy, spicy lady, for sure, with lots of commentary. Pretty good steak with cheap sauce. I do like sauces, though. I can have steak by itself, but I'd throw sauce on it, too. Oh, my girlfriends. Oh, my God, Genghis. <laughs> Uh, funny. Let's see what Liara wants. <laughs> She's an interesting gal. I'll give her that. The female vampire, though, Serana. She's top tier. She's great. Everybody loves Serana. Liara playing the pi Wow, look at her go. One handed. Greetings, Commander. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't do I that. Know you could play. That that's like the Actually, this is the only best song I know. meat you can have ever. Was oh, it's so good. There was always something oh. more important to do: a ruin to uncover, intel to gather. A that I would not put save. sauce on. Ha! You couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. Hey, Gumbo. She taught me to play this song while we waited. Unless the sauce is made specifically for the steak. I don't use it. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. They're jealous of each other in kind of a fourth dimension way. <laughs> oh, man. It's a good song. <laughs> Thank you, Shepard. Oh, Shepard is staring at Liara. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. 
by just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose, how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis. I'm a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. You work here, You're chill. Use the apartment. Thank you, Shepard. I think I will. Come on, my goodness. Sweet, she's just gonna be vibing out. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your reports so that you might work here? Thank yes. you. Thank you, Glyph. Alright, who else? Koliak. I believe was the last one. Which seems odd. Not sure. My baby's got sauce. My favorite snack from Fia. That special sauce from Fia. What? Is that something she says? To honor the life of oh, this is for the funeral for his father. Each of our lives in different ways. Oh, no. The counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. And others. Oh, maybe not the funeral. Devoted to his son. Are we recruiting him on the team? Hold on. Man, Thane was the best. I prefer to be just friends with Sophia because I'm the jelly type. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if Sophia would be like the settling type anyway. She seems too spicy. She's she's a party girl. Thane redeemed himself. Thane fought beside us. There's an old human saying, whoever saves one life saves the world entire. It's not mm, about a planet, Thane. but the value so of each of us. I don't know how many times Thane saved my life or I saved his when we were beyond the Omega-4 relay. It all happened pretty fast. But I do know my whole world could have come to an end then. And it didn't. Even when he was terminally ill and had no business fighting on, something in Thane told him he could save one last life. It was not his own. Thane was too selfless for that. The life he chose was someone's whose decisions could, in fact, save worlds entire. Would anyone else like to speak? Anybody? Anybody? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important, but let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got yeah, to know him, true. there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Colia, do you, uh... Colia want to say anything? When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. 
He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him mm -hmm. a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going <clears throat> soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Man, poor dude. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. Um, I'd have loved to meet this guy back in high school. More heading spots, have I seen this back then? What? Hey, man. <laughs> oh, okay, already, already laughing. Okay, this ought to be good already. Help you? Yeah. This is kind of neat. What is it? Oh, it's from New Guinea. It's a it's ceremonial an SNL. spirit box. Wow, that's cool. What do you do with it? You put your weed in there. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. This is neat. Is this from South America? You bet. That's a Yanomanu ancestor idol from Brazil. It's carved from deer bone. What do you use it for? You put your weed in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No problem. Okay. Where's this from? Oh, it's from oh, Borneo. Man. It's for a Sulawesi puberty ritual. It symbolizes the journey into adulthood. Really? Yeah. Good you old Chris Farley. <laughs> so this has actually been used in puberty rituals? Yeah. Oh, and God. You put your weed in there. Yeah. Thanks. No Excuse me. Oh, this is great. You put your weed in here. <laughs> I'm looking for a gift for my mother. Is there anything in here that doesn't involve weed? Nope. <laughs> hey, may I help you? Uh, bunch of classic actors and their youthfulness. Kalia looks weird. I mean, the whole race is a little weird, but but they're they're good. They're good. <laughs> I don't think I ever saw that one on SNL. That's pretty good. That's an oldie but a goodie. He was one of us. Yes. He did not have many friends. The Normandy was. Put your weed in here, man. Good for him. If you will excuse me, I should take I'm this out. Watching I don't anymore. I watch lab. like some of the older stuff. About but what? I do she not even remotely grateful. pay attention to that anymore. And I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel syndrome. It would be them. Ooh, okay. Way too political. Yeah, that's exactly why I don't even like pay attention to it at all. Not even in the slightest. If you need someone to it's hold too the much. counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. It's all right, Commander. Counselor Ashiel could use some good press right now. This is the right time for such a favor. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions. And I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I followed my Italian. I sent them to your extranet address. Cleaned it up, woot. <laughs> I hope they help. More than they hurt. You and redeemed so yourself, begin, Genghis. Commander. You redeemed yourself. Check of messages. <laughs> Uh, not the party foul. Check message. Was this not where I was supposed to check messages? Nope, I think we gotta go upstairs. On the TV? Okay, video messages.
Thane. I, I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. Okay. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. <laughs> in any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. I mean, we did. Clean your mess, sir. <laughs> Eat too many cupcakes to get my drunk on? Oh, it's just gonna soak up all the alcohol. <laughs> but hey, how could you not have cupcakes? Especially on your birthday. I would be doing the same thing. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. Hmm. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can it's tell he is plus. serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Uh, that's Send okay. back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I wish we could have messaged him back. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Oh? Light the shade of her eyes. Shrill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two what is he remembering? locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New mm. Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had. I fainted and struck my head. Oh no. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Oh my god. <sighs> First major AAA games to create romantic relationship situations and two friends in a game, I think. It's a bit too serious though. There is a lot of like relationships with friends and like you can pick who you have like a, a romantic relationship with. It gets very detailed. I'm super into this whole game. But yeah, it is a bit serious. Ugh, oh, Thane. Thane, Thane, Thane. That makes me sad. Have I ever played No Man's Sky? I played it once. One time. But I didn't play very far into it at all. Big space games. The space games are cool. You can travel all over the place. And um, in that game you can go everywhere too. anything new? No. Let's see. Now I think Garrus said he wanted to meet here. Silver Coast. There we go. Cyberpunk is still zonk. Not good. Not great. Come on in. Where is he? What should we do first? 
A lot of mods. Make it good, hopefully. I'm sure there'll be tons of mods, too, so we'll, we'll see what people can do with it. I think it might be interesting with mods. Wait for Garrus. Okay, here we go. There he is. There's a guy. So, oh. a Turian on shore leave. You Who come here often? What is she is this doing? That, uh, hmm. First date thing we talked about. Got it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I come here often. Hmm. Good place to blow off steam. Scenery's not bad either. Though the view in front of me. Ooh, is she did not like that. <laughs> That's supposed to melt a girl's heart. No, but this voice is. I'm Garrus Vicarian, code name Archangel, all round Turian mm -hmm. bad boy, and dispenser of justice in an unjust galaxy. <laughs> also, I kill Reapers on the side, and you are. <laughs> Alliance oh. Navy. Karis, Karis, Karis. Shepard, huh? I might have heard a few things about you. Kind of don't want to go forward. Uh, my best friend that just walked straight through the limo. Jackie! Oh, God. <clears throat> yeah, Jackie. Good old Jackie. I mean, I would honestly replay that game. Like, I didn't hate it. I know a lot of people didn't like it. I thought it was fine, but... I don't know. I'll, I think I'll eventually replay it in due time. I did like Jackie, though. Oh. Flatter me. Word is you're smart. Sexy. A wicked shot. Also, you kill Reapers on the side, too. Uh-huh. And do most girls fall for that? Well, sure, you know. This voice and, What uh, is going on? And, uh, I'm running out of banter here, Shepard. Make it up. Remember, we just met. Right. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. All the girls fall for that. Let me show you. What, what are you doing? It'll be fun. They're gonna dance! Oh, oh God. No, 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 no! Oh... My god. <laughs> Been taking lessons on the side. You're gonna pay for this later. Get it. Shepard is panicking right now. Promises, promises. Uh. Ooh. I almost did not get that. Get it? Oh, do we have a freaking audience now? We have an audience. <laughs> okay. Great, no pressure, no pressure. Wait for the button. Oh, James is watching? Of course James is watching. <laughs> There's something with James. It's weird. This is a whole thing. Good lord. So, tell me, think a girl would fall for that? Better be this girl. Gladly. Oh, hell yes. You've been putting that reach and flexibility to good use. You know it. Hmm. And it gets even better when you try it in bed. Okay. Okay. 
That was a lot. I'm going with the strike I've been there. They do that IRL? Oh, heck yeah, they do. They absolutely do. She's a tease, period. <laughs> make that relationship out. <laughs> Let's just be friends with and slam the door. <laughs> uh, that whole game is about, like, just it's just a bunch of teases and a lot of sexual tension and just, it's just the whole vibe of that game. <laughs> Never learned salsa. My pop was an excellent tango dancer. I can't do any of that business and nothing. It'd be fun. I actually think it would be fun, but it's a lot to learn. Who else said they were gonna meet us? Cracker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Genghis. <laughs> yeah, I, I absolutely cannot dance. I'm not a dancer. Nope, nope, nope. I can't remember who else. I had to meet up with. These kind of females were like, you lead, and you're like, uh, uh, no. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oops, a daisy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, yeah, I would be in the same boat. I would not know what to do. Not even in the slightest. Hmm. Right, let's go check these emails. Quarters. Okay, Liara met up with her. Hmm. I'm in the nightclub in the Citadel. Okay, so let's go to Purgatory. Unless I already met up with her. I don't remember. Let's go to Purgatory and see where... Or if she's hanging out there. You sell it. I'm invested. Okay, I'm done eavesdropping.
It seems the galaxy can't keep up. Never mind. I think we did everything for her. Is there anything on your mind? We'll talk later. I'm sure. Wait, wait, wait. It seems wait. The, the blue sun's blood pack. Is there anything Investigate. On your mind? Nope. Never mind. I don't think we'll we have later. anything. I'm sure. For her. All right. Never mind. Swing dance, salsa, samba, and of course tango. Make it your goal, man. Learn all of it. Just go big. Learn all of it. It'd be impressive. Yes, that's a good way to put it. That's a really good way to put it, actually. <laughs> Maybe you can get Shepard drunk. Never tried it. Oh yeah, okay, yep. <laughs> oh no. She's like, where am I? What's going on? Oh, we're by Arya. Well, she kept us safe anyway, I guess. It seems the galaxy can't keep up. The blue sun. We'll talk later. Nice. <laughs> That's all that happens. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Wrong place. Normandy, that's where we wanted to go. Feed the fish, feed the fish. Change appearances? I never changed their appearances. Hmm. This whole time. <laughs> Just left them as they were. What? Okay. I guess they're not really like super drastic changes though. Huh. Okay, I'm put them in all black. Cool. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to stop there for tonight. Better save. Do the old double save. Um, and I'm going to hop on off, I think, and hit the hay. I'm out of here. You guys have a super good night. I'll be back on tomorrow. Playing some Skyrim. Um, but yeah, have, have a wonderful night. Thank you, Atomic. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Super fun. Genghis, you have a really good stream. Enjoy your PBR. And I hope I hope you have a great time. You deserve the best birthday stream. Happiest of birthdays to you. Um Yeah, have fun. Have fun. You're the most awesome. You're the most awesome. That's all you, my man. That's all you. But have a blast. Have a blast. And I will uh 
catch you homies tomorrow. And as always, love, peace, and chicken grease. I will see you guys later. Bye.